Hi fellow YouTubers, this is Amber. If you guys do not know who I am, I'm a plus size model, YouTuber, and entrepreneur. My channel is mostly about beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial and if you guys want to see how I did this look, stay tuned. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is a fresh face and I filled in my eyebrows so it wouldn't take so long and now I'm going ahead and put primer on my eyelids, making sure that it has no holes or plugs in it so that the shadow can go on smoothly. And I'm gonna use my TARDIS Pro palette today and I'm using the color Whimsy and I like this color because it's like an orange brown. So that's why you can kind of see two different shades of colors in this color so using my violet boss palette i'm going to go ahead and take that color hashtag and i'm going to blend that at the top of whimsy because it's just going to make it very seamless without blending it out and i don't want to blend out the full color so i'm just packing on that color on both sides of the lids just to give it a little bit more depth so here i'm going to go ahead and take a makeup remover wipe from wet and wild and go ahead and cut the crease this is a technique I learned on Makeup Live. Now using the primer I used on my whole lid, I'm gonna start cutting that crease with that same primer. And just have to make sure that it's completely even on both sides. So now I'm just going to buff that cut crease out just to make sure I don't have any holes in there or any like just uneven primer making it smooth. I'm going to go into my Violet Boss Holy Grail palette and using the teddy bear color. The brown, I'm going to put that on the outskirts of my eyes, just giving it a little bit more depth so I can have more of a contrast with the other colors I will be applying. And now I'm going to be using hashtag, which is a orange color, and I'm going to put that right in the center of my lid and kind of blending it out to make it kind of seamless with the brown color teddy brown color so I'm just blending it out right now just making sure it's seamless and just blending that primer out as well just to make sure it doesn't crease and now I'm going to go ahead and use the Picasso palette using that lime green and the Picasso palette and laying it slightly over the orange but not all the way over and then I'm going to take the orange color out the Picasso palette and lay it right over hashtag from the Violet Voss just to intensify the color a little bit and then I'm just blending it out with a fluffy dome brush taking the yellow out of, out of the Picasso palette I'm going to go ahead and cover the rest of the primer up with the yellow from the palette and this palette I got from Sally's and it's basically a metallic palette. It's very old and I'm just using that just to put it right on top of the yellow just to give it some shimmer. And I'm also going to use it for green and I'm just popping that right over the lime green. So now taking the black color from the Picasso palette, I'm taking that color at the ends of my eyes just to give it even more depth. I feel like when you intensify any makeup look with black it makes it so much better and that's what I'm doing right now just intensifying the color now I'm just giving it a sharper edge by cleaning it up with a makeup wipe and I'm using the foundation 355 Maybelline and I'm just putting that all over my face and then I'll get back to my eyes a little later but I just wanted to just make sure my foundation was on and sitting for a while. Now I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild liner and I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with that. And I'm gonna do kind of a cat eye in a way.
And I'm gonna draw the wing a little bit higher than normal so it's like a real cat wing in a way. And adding my mascara, which is Colossal from Maybelline, and doing some touch-ups before I add the lashes on. These lashes will be in the description below. So it came out pretty good as you can see. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer which is in Honey, uh, Maybelline Infallible. And I really like this, found, um, not foundation but concealer, I really like the concealer. I think it's perfect for my skin tone. So I'm just highlighting everything I want to be a little lighter and then going ahead and blending that out with a wet beauty blender. And I'm gonna use this knockoff banana powder. I got this in the garment district in LA, so it was supposed to be like banana powder, but I just like to use it anyway because it still gives a really nice look. But it's not the real Ben 9 for sure, it's not. But I still like it just as well. So I'm just carving out my face, making sure all my highlighted areas are set. And underneath my eyes, I put hashtag and teddy bear from the Violet Voss, and I blended that out up underneath my eyes to give a sultry look, a smoky look up underneath the eyes. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the black radiant powder and I'm gonna put it all over my face just to give an even skin tone look by going over the whole face. And I'm just contouring my nose right now. Just needed to be snatched just a little bit. And I'm using the Teddy Bear from Violet Voss Color. And taking my Wild and Radiant, as you guys always see me wearing this, I am using one of the four out of there, which is more of the gold silver look because it's like a blend. So far, I like the way it's coming out. I'm using the Tardis Pro and I'm using the color Mood for my blush, the apples of my cheeks, and a little bit all over my face just to make it a nice even skin tone. Adding a little bit more powder just to even everything out and not make everything so loud. Now I'm just wiping off all my lip gloss and adding chocolate from Navi on my lips, which is a matte color. And using a black brown pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And using Max Doe, which I don't really use MAC products because they do test on animals, so this is the last of the products I will have. And I'm also gonna use this lip gloss from uh, Bath and Body Works called Magenta Mint. And so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I think it's super fire. What? <laughs> This is the end of the tutorial, you guys. I hope you guys love this look. And if you guys did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.